Well, okay. Well, I have a, a, a lot of questions about like the the politics of getting the uh, your your role in the in the company, right? Meaning, I know you went back and forth. You've been in so many different companies, and you've gone. You've been heel, and you've been yeah. hero, and all that shit. Yeah. Do you have to kind of politic to get written for, or you know what I mean? Well, like, I mean, is the- it? Is what's the status hierarchy and can it be played beyond are the guys that are just good politically and not incredible wrestlers or performers or vice versa? Are the guys that yes. are fucking great wrestlers, great performers, and they just are they said the wrong thing to the wrong person? Yeah, or someone just doesn't like them. Right. You know, I mean, that's kind of what it is. You're you when you when you work in a wrestling company, there's a boss. Right. And you're basically performing to the audience of one. Now, we listen to the, what the crowd is doing, but but it's not like anything else. Like, you know, if we're on a hockey team and I score 25 goals, you're going to play me more. Yeah. If I'm in wrestling and the entire crowd is cheering for me, but you're not slotted into the position where the, the, the overall booker, the guy who promotes and, and controls the show, if he doesn't see you in that position, you might not get it. So it really is, once again, it, it's 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 a lot. I mean, it's funny. When I did, like, Dancing with the Stars, for example, like, right off the bat, I realized, oh, they're just booking the show. Like, there's no, like, who's better, who's worse. It's just, like, they think this person is the most entertaining or maybe getting the best ratings. Right. He's going to the semifinals or she's going to the semifinals. And it's, like, I figured it out right away because it's, like, wrestling. We're going to figure out who gets Oh, the- you're saying, like, it's not fixed, but, like, it's not it's fixed. produced. Like, you, you can go out there and do the best dance ever, and if you're not slotted to get to the next step, you won't, hmm. you know, and I'm, yeah. I'm just I'm not no. And you're not saying, saying this is no scandal. You're yeah, this is like, like it's show business. Yeah. You know, they don't claim it to be, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. like, you know, if you go to the Olympics and there's a figure skating and someone does an amazing, you know, all the Russian judge gave him a five, like it's just yeah. someone's, someone's opinion. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of what wrestling is based on, on that sort of a thing. So the Olympics are fixed as well, guys. Well, we're, I, I we're also here, we're say learning a lot. <laughs> I've tried, uh, not tried, but I've, I've started to really think about how pro wrestling could easily be an Olympic sport because it's a athletic uh, display between two people, much like figure skating or synchronized swimming or anything else that's judged on points. Oh, that's that's, right? that's a really funny idea. Think about that. So yeah. let's say I'm, I'm from Canada and, and Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega, the, the best wrestler in the world from Canada, we put together our routine. And then you got, you know, Will Ospreay and Michael Oku from England. They put together their routine. And then you got, you know, John Moxley and Brian Danielson from the United States. They yeah. put together their routine. And then the judges would say, okay, this was the best. Like, it doesn't matter who wins or loses. Yeah. It's like, like figure skating. So anyways, that's a whole And then thing. you guys get drug tested and they take all of your medals away. We're, uh, we're the only ones <laughs> that probably get drug tested more than anybody else now in these days. Uh, uh, in, in wrestling, are they <laughs> testing? Yeah. yeah, yeah are time. they really? Yeah, big time. Great. Yeah. I mean, I think. Oh, yeah, they should. They should. Okay. There's been, that's another thing, too, how the business has changed. As I mentioned in the 90s, it was all about huge guys and just yeah. jacked up as you can yeah. be. Then the 90s, it went more to uh, smaller guys, but still you had to be in great shape. You still have to be in great shape. But if you look at the wrestlers now in 2024 and compare them to the ones in 1994, you're going to see a completely different body shape and body type. Why, why are they testing now versus then? I think because it was out of control for a while. Um, a lot of guys, if you look in the 90s and 2000s, dying of drugs. And okay. A okay. lot of stuff like that. So you think HGH steroids can, is leads to just I mean, rampant I, think, I just think just drug use. life on the road back in the 90s and 80s, and you know, for, for any form of entertainment. Look yeah. at the comedians. Yeah. Look at the rock and roll bands. Yeah. The rest is right there with them. So... It's but you got, but a lot of them were way bigger. That's the thing about. Right, is, but I'm just talking about about actual drugs too. Yeah, being yeah. on the road, you know, it was it was a much tougher lifestyle back then. I'm it, saying traveling when you're six eight. Well, yeah, is agreed. worse than sure, five eight. Sure, but if you're on, you know, whatever you're on as well, Demerol it makes it worse. All, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, pills were really big and all that sort of stuff, and it's kind of all calmed down now, which is great. I mean, it's yeah. the way it should be, and and, and like I said, this, wrestling is still always about personalities and stories. It's just now you don't have to be, you know, an extra 40 pounds of muscle to, to make it to the next step. It seems like the hardest uh, schedule and job in that, you know, NBA players, it's 82 games, 41 right. on the road. Right. But, but there's a lot of staff to massage, uh, col- just like there's a lot of infrastructure for that level of travel and stress in the body. And it is there that in, in well, wrestling? Once again, though, no. what, what did you just say? 82 games, 
41 on the 41 road. 41 on the road, and then your season's over, and you get six months off or whatever it is. Yeah. We don't have that ever. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, ever, it yeah. seems so, way more difficult. There are no home games. No, I mean, you're, you're the one thing that's different now is if you go back even 10 years ago, you would have road shows like that weren't on TV. So, I mean, when I was working in, in WWE, you sometimes we work in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and, and maybe even a Tuesday once in a while. That's insane. That travel schedule was fucking crazy. Different city. Different city, driving, renting your own cars, all that sort of stuff. What's the difference between being the champion and being one of the guys on the roster? I think maybe in the earlier years of being a champion, it kind of really cements you as a top guy, as a main event player. And then once you've been champion, for me, like I said, eight times world champion and a myriad of other ones, I think there's 40 or 50 now at this point, um, you, you just establish yourself as basically as, as, as a leading man, shall we say. And once you're established as a leading man, you can do a movie as a great fourth lead or a great fifth lead. It doesn't always have to be about you. Um, and wrestling is like, once again, it's all about connecting with, with the crowd and telling great stories. And sometimes those stories involve being a champion. Sometimes they don't. So that's the beauty of wrestling. We, we say in, 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 in wrestling that the, the championship is just a prop. Mm. It's, it's a prop. And you use that prop accordingly. So it's all about star power and building your name and your value. And like I said, if the title is involved with that, you know, obviously it makes you one of the top guys. It doesn't necessarily back back in the eighties and nineties, you know, Hulk Hogan's the champion for four years. The entire company is based around him. Yeah. Now it's a little bit more spread out. You know, like when AEW first started and I was the biggest name in the company, I knew that was great, but I, I got a two month, three month window here. It can't always be about me. That's the new that's the new timeline, basically. I mean, for me, it was. I put it on there to, to try and build as many names as we could. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab-assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high-pressure system. I'm not really used to the green screen.